Hey everyone, I finally got the schnauzer tree decorated. Thought I would share it with you today. But first, I have to show you this cuteness over here behind the chair. Look at those cuties. Look at those little cuties. <laughs> they like sleeping in that bed. It's right there by the heater. Plus, it's kind of away from the commotion of the dogs coming in and out of the room. <laughs> so here's the schnauzer tree. I did have these... Um, Schnauzer dog toys kind of standing up under the tree to make it look cute, but the dogs, you know, every time I do that, they got to mess with them. <laughs> so here's the Schnauzer tree topper. Let's try to say that fast three times. Schnauzer tree topper. <laughs> it's just a stuffed Schnauzer I got. I think it was a jewelry store in the mall here. They were selling them uh, with proceeds going towards St. Jude's, I think. Um, so I have two of those, and I thought I'm going to use that as my tree topper this year. Um, and here's some of the ornaments on the tree. I'm not going to share every single ornament on the tree, because I did do a video last year where I had all my ornaments out on the dining room table. Um, so I will link that down below in the description box. Um, if you'd like to check that out to see them in more detail. And then of course I've already shared what I've been sent this year from viewers. So I thank all of you who have sent me ornaments through the years to help or to add to our Schnauzer Christmas tree ornaments really appreciate it. I love my schnauzer tree. I think I have a video of when I, um, I first, I had a couple ornaments and I just put them on the family tree. And then I graduated to a four foot tree I had gotten on clearance at Walmart. And I think I have a video of that. So I will link that down below too. So, and now I've gone to this big Christmas tree because I have so many ornaments. Thanks to all of you guys. Really appreciate it. And then of course I have my schnauzer trees over here that I've been sent that I've been sent from viewers I have two of them from two different viewers and here it is right here it's got schnauzers all around the tree isn't it cute it lights up to you I just don't have them on they're both the same I thank you guys so much again for sending those to me I I just love them I'll cherish them forever, um, just like I'll cherish my ornaments forever. Um, and then I just put up a couple little doggy pieces here. Happy holidays. I think I found that at Meyer. I have a couple of my figurines that were given to me from my sister-in-law who's passed. And there's another one over here. It's a set of three. And then I have a couple ornaments here on this little tree here. That I was sent from viewers. And a couple little signs. And then I have my uh, Christmas schnauzer up here that I found at Kohl's. They have it listed as a Westie, but I think it looks like a schnauzer. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple signs down here. With a little figurine on top that I found at Michael's same over here yeah and then of course I have the Christmas beds I found got those out for the boys yeah so like I said I will put a link down below and a link in the comments to the video I did last year kind of sharing um, a little bit more up close and personal <clears throat> of my schnauzer ornaments and I think it also has a couple pieces that were also sent to me from the Danbury Mint that I don't have out this year because I don't have everything out this year because I tried to make it a little easier on myself. And I believe those are in that video too, so you can check them out in that video. So I need to go check on the dogs. Everybody went out except for Mr. Grant. He didn't want to go out. He had already went out. I do have kitty ornaments too, guys. But I have the kitty ornaments out here on the family tree because that is a schnauzer tree. It's just for the schnauzers. So the kitty ornaments are out here. We have one for kitten here. Here's another kitty ornament. 
I do have a couple dog ones too, like dog dad for my husband. I think I have a dog bowl out here. I've got this little doggy. It's not quite a schnauzer, but it still looks like it. So we put it out here. <laughs> then I have Merlin's here. And then another kitty ornament here. And then I think there's a couple more if I can find them. Here's one kitty ornament. And here's one. I think there's a couple more, but I'm not seeing them. I need to let these dogs in. They've been out there for a minute. It's a little chilly today. Not as bad as it's been, but it's still a little chilly. You guys ready? You ready? Okay, come on. I don't think Milo's ready yet. Let's see. Oh, no, look at him. He's just staring at me. <laughs> He's got a little fleece sweater on because he, to help him from keep, uh, so he was scratching at that skin rash he has going on or whatever it is. I'm not sure exactly. Um, so I put that fleece sweater on him and it's helped. He hasn't been scratching at it. Plus, I've, I've bathed him twice now with that shampoo. And I've been putting a mousse on him um, that helps to calm irritated skin. Let me see. It's over here in my cupboard. Um, this is the brand. I'm trying to cover up any information. Um, you can get this on Amazon. It's just a mousse and I've just been rubbing it on the skin and it's helped. He has not been itching it anymore. So hopefully it's all healed up before he gets his, uh, dental done on Tuesday. Let me tell you, this candle here, I got at Bath and Body Works. It's called Marshmallow Fireside. Love it. I wish I would have bought a couple more when they were on sale. <laughs> yeah, he does not want to come in. He's just out there wagging his tail, sniffing, because they, they went out because there was a squirrel outside. He's just going to sniff around a little bit more, I think. Let's see if he can find that squirrel scent. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I guess I should show you my other decor. I got this little... Christmas centerpiece here with battery operated candles. I have uh, some decor going on there with a Merry Christmas sign. I got my Christmas blankets out. You probably already seen in the previous video, some Christmas pillows. We've got our stockings hanging at the fireplace here. And then I put, I got a Santa sign and then I just put some Christmas signs here on top of the bookshelves. Usually I will put Christmas decor in the bookshelves as well, but I just, like I said, I'm trying to keep it a little bit more easier on myself this year. Not putting out every single piece of Christmas decor I have. <laughs> it's hard not to do though, let me tell you, because I love Christmas. Um, oh, and then I have a little bit of, I have my Christmas dish towel, and then I've got a couple signs out here, Christmas signs kind of backlit because of the windows. Some trees, another Christmas sign. Oh, and there's Milo. He's sniffing over here now. <laughs> He's so silly. He'd be outside all day if he could. Yes, he would. He would be outside all day long, just waiting for a squirrel, trying to sneak up on him. Yeah, so, all right guys, hope you enjoyed my little kind of Christmas decor tour. Enjoyed seeing the Christmas, Schnauzer Christmas tree. Um, check out that other video that I'm going to have linked below and we will talk to you guys again in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.